Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Micah and you're ch you've tuned in to watch the second video in my top 10 favorites towards the end of the year. So I wanted to take these last videos that I'm posting this year to be about the 10 favorite products in different categories. I already did base products and today we're going to be talking lips. So today I'm going to be sharing my top 10 favorite lip products with you of 2019. I still have like cheek products and eyeshadow palettes coming and if you'd like to watch that found, like base product video where I talk about foundation and primer and concealer and those kind of things, I'll make sure to link that in the eye above. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight to it because I have 10 lovely lip products for you here. The uh, And this is going to be from like 10 to 1 because this was something I was like, I can rank this very solid on my ranking here. Um, a formula that came out, I think, in 2018, but that I didn't get to try until the start of the year was Max, uh, what are these called again? Powder Kiss Lipsticks. This is in the shade Stay Curious, and this is a really nice sort of like brownie red shade, sort of like more like a nude take on a red. And I really like this shade, and I really like this formula too. It's quite thin, and it glides on really, really nicely. Uh, it just, you know, we all know that there was one lipstick that I used a lot. It's what I'm wearing on my face today. And that I sort of re discovered right after I purchased this. So this didn't get a lot of loving from me. But I bought this because I have this in a brighter shade. I'm not sure what it's called anymore. That I bought in like January time. And I really loved it. So I wanted to get one. I actually got this for free when I back to MAC some products when I was in London. So stay curious from the Powder Kiss line by MAC. Definitely had to make an appearance here in terms of like formulas that I really liked. Earlier this year, uh, Essence came out with the This Is Me nude line and this lipstick is making an appearance in the number nine spot. I am not a huge fan of uh, Essence lipsticks and I did a full video where I swatched all the shades that became part of their permanent line. This was first a limited edition collection and the availability of that collection was a bit iffy, so I wasn't able to get my hands on them. But there were 20 in a limited edition collection, and then they've kept eight in their standard line. These are, of course, very cheap and cheerful, and these are the first Essence lipsticks that I actually quite enjoyed. Uh, a lot of the times I find Essence lipsticks to be a little bit drying almost, which is really weird because they seem to have that liquid lipstick kind of dry down. These are really nice and comfortable, and they come in a good array of nude shades. But in the end, I decided to keep just one shade, which is number six, Real. And it's actually quite similar to Stay Curious by MAC. Uh, it also has that like sort of nude with a red undertone. I think Stay Curious is more like a muted red, whereas this is more like a nude with a hint of red. So I feel they're different, but if you don't want to splurge on a MAC lipstick, then maybe you can look into these because I think it's a very similar shade. Liquid lipstick has, of course, gone completely out of style, but for my number eight spot, I do want to mention this. This is the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Atlantic City, and you've heard me raving about this. I put it in my red lipstick video. Uh, you may have seen me wear this in vlogs that I did this year, because this is my go-to lipstick to bring with me when I'm going on a trip. I already mentioned in my base product video that I'm someone, whenever I travel, I just don't want to have to worry about my makeup throughout the day. So then a lip, liquid lipstick like this is just going to work wonders. If I put this on in the morning, it's still on by the time I get back uh, to my hotel right before I go to bed. Uh, this has like 15 hours of wear in it, like, like in one application and ah, oh, I love it. Plus Ofra liquid lipsticks, while they dry down, they are not uncomfortable. This is one of the best liquid lipsticks formula on the market still till this day. Love it. Number eight, like I had a I had a hard time finding ten lipsticks that I liked because I had just been loving that one lipstick so much that I even though I bought different lipsticks, I wasn't really trying them very much. So I do have an exception here because the Lee Swatche, uh, I think this is called the Rouge Gourmand lipstick, and I believe this is in the shade Cassis. Yes, it is. And this is a really nice sort of like bright magenta shade. And back in October, I was like, I need berry lipstick. I need berry lipstick. I need berry lipstick. And this is the berry lipstick of choice for me when it comes down to it. It's just such a lovely formula. Sadly, Lise Watche is only available in Canada. And I got this in a swap. So this, is, this may be very hard to get your hands on. But for all those Canadians out there, 
Try at least Wache lipstick if you want to splurge on something, because these are also quite expensive, I believe. From the same swap that I just mentioned, I got the Lee Swatche lipstick in. I also got this. This is the C.O. Bil Bil C -O Bigelow. I think that's how you pronounce it. My favorite night balm, lip balm. And I had never tried C.O. Bigelow, but Stashy, the person I did this swap with, swears by their lip balms. And she was like, if we're doing that swap, you know you're going to get some. And this is, I believe, her favorite. And I've been using this as my lip nighttime lip balm. And you guys, it's so amazing. Like this is like the best <laughs> lip balm I've ever tried, hands down. Like Stashy, you're absolutely right. This this is a great one. So those that's the, the bottom five done. And in my top five, you're going to see a pattern, I think. Because there are a lot of reds here. Because I love red lipstick. And a new red lipstick that I acquired this year was the Makeup Revolution. I'm not sure what collection this is from, but this is one of their matte lipsticks in the shade Stiletto. And I bought this, I think, at the end of summer, and I wore it so much in September, like non-filming days mostly, but this is such a great lipstick that it also, as a red for days where I didn't want to go with a liquid lipstick, I put this in my New York makeup bag because I was like, I need to take this with me. It's such a stunning red. And it's just a really good drugstore option, I feel. I hadn't tried my many Makeup Revolution lipsticks, so this is, I think, the first one I've tried. Loved it. So if you like the formula of the MAC Powder Kiss lipsticks, but again, you don't want to splurge, I feel that the Essence one is more like a shade dupe, but the formula is very nicely li mimicked by Catrice's Demi Matte lipsticks that I think are now a little bit more widely available. This is in the shade Rouge La La, which I also have in their Ultimate Matte formula, which is actually my favorite red by them. But since this is the newer formula that you still get, um, I just wanted to show both of them. I wore this a lot at the start of the year, actually, before these new Demi Mattes came out. But I did a video with this, and these lipsticks are so nice. Like the Powder Kiss, they have a very thin formula, which means that with a darker shade like this, you may have to, like... Uh, like have to apply it quite thickly, like a few layers to get full opacity. But this also comes with a stunning nude range and the formula is really nice. The wear time of these is really nice. I think Catrice did a very good job and Catrice do some of my favorite lipsticks for a reason. They're cheap and cheerful, come in a ton of shades, interesting formulas. They definitely sort of are, for me, Catrice is like the queen of drugstore lipsticks. Top three time then, in the number three spot, I thought we could talk about these babies and they share the number three spot because I can't choose between these two because they are my custom made Bite Beauty lipsticks. So when I was in New York, I went to the Bite Beauty lip lab and I made myself two custom lipsticks. I made a nude, which is sort of quite brown, but it also has a bit of red in it. And it's really strange because it works really well on me as a nude, but I found that the Lisa Eldridge uh, True Velvet in Velvet Muse is very similar to this. It's a hair lighter, but it's very similar to this actually. And then I also made a red, and this red has had so much use. And I put violet scent in this, and I'm so happy I did because I don't really like all the like very sort of food-like sort of scents in lipsticks. Um, but this is so nice. This is a matte formula, and I believe the nude is a satin, uh, because I like my nudes to have a bit more of a creamy texture to them, and this is such a stunning red lipstick. I wanted something that was dark, but not too dark, but darker than most reds, and this, it's perfection. I love it. But you know, it's also perfection. The lipstick in the number two spot, and that is Lisa Eldridge's True Velvet Lipstick in Velvet Ribbon. I am so, so smitten with this lipstick. You will have heard me raving about this ever since I got them at the start of November. I unwrapped these, started using them straight away, and I was like, oh, this is definitely something special. If you want to get your hands on these, they are always out of stock, so definitely make sure you sign up for her newsletter. Um, and that it doesn't end up in your spam folder because that's how I missed up on the first two rounds. Like, I just missed the announcement video. I missed the newsletter. I missed everything. Follow her on Instagram. When she announced a restock, when she does that, 
make sure you set your alarm clock and then shop around the website before it goes live and then just check out when like a first, within the first minute of these things going live. That's the only way you're going to get your hands on these because they sell out so quickly, but they are well worth the money. Uh, I think you get free shipping over 75 pounds, which is quite a lot. But if you buy three lipsticks, then you already have that sort of rate, you could say. So Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, it may very well be one of my favorite high-end formulas. It may, the, will it trump Charlotte Tilbury for me? I don't think I've tried it enough to say that it's my ultimate favorite, but it's close. It's, it's a tie with Charlotte Tilbury for now. Like, mm, stunning, stunning. Can you guess what is in my number one spot? I could not do this video, you guys, without putting this in the number one spot. You know how I feel about this lipstick. This is a brand new one because this is the backup I already purchased. This is, a, this, this is the Catrice Power Plumping Gel Lipstick in 030. Speak up. If you've, watched my, if you've watched any of my videos this year, then you will have seen me wear this exact nude almost every single video I did. I did a lot of colorful eyeshadow looks over the spring and summertime, well into autumn actually, and I just found that this shade just goes with every colorful look I did. The formula is super creamy and it still stays put quite well on me. I've heard people say like it disappears on me in like 30 minutes. It doesn't on me, whereas I usually have issues with lipstick disappearing really quickly. Uh, I teach, so I talk a lot, but it still stays put. I do have to say after a meal, I have to touch it up. Um, so I tend to do that then as well. But the reason why I'm showing you this one is because I don't want to spoil the first video that I'm going to be posting in the new year, which is going to be my 2019 makeup empties. And I'm currently working really, really hard on trying to use this up. You guys, yes, I am very close to using up a lipstick in 2019 because I've been wearing this since April. So they're just, no other lipstick could be in the top one spot for me personally. I hope you agree with me. So that, those were, were my 10 favorite lipsticks for the year of 2019. Let me know in a comment down below what your favorite lipstick was. I would love to know. I love trying out new lipsticks actually, but now, like I am now a little bit sick of that Catrice lipstick. So even though I'm happy, I have a backup that I can always reach for. I definitely now wanna make sure that I get more use out of all of my other lipsticks in 2020. This is a very unexpected find, you guys. I, I never, I've never fallen in love with a lipstick this hard. <laughs> Just never. I love Max Russian Red, but I love, wear it a lot, but not as, not like this. Just not. Uh, so yeah, this is such a great nude everyday shade. Mm, love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, but yeah, my aim for 2020 is to make sure I get more use out of all of my different lipsticks because I have quite a few. Um, so I just need to get some more use out of those. So I'm going to have fun putting different looks together that way as well. So make sure you follow my shop, my stashes, because that's where I sort of show you uh, what I've been wearing uh, a lot all of the time. So thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the other two videos that I have coming up. And of course, I will be back with three videos a week, even in 2020. So I have lots more fun stuff coming to you in the new year. I hope you had a great Christmas uh, and that you will stay tuned for those other two videos and then I'll see you in my next one. Bye.